Hey, what's up, guys? This is one of my battles from the Kanto Classic Semester Divisions. And this is, was against someone from Japan with the rank of uh, 1598. And it was a good battle because I, I, I knew how to counter. I had a good team to counter his team as I lead off with Jolteon. <coughs> Sorry, I'm not feeling very well. And he starts off with Snorlax. That's a bad matchup, so obviously I got a Volt Switch here. And that's gonna do nothing to this fat blob. Because Snorlax is so bulky. And I bring out my Hitmonchan to break these defensive walls. And he goes for the Earthquake. My Hitmonchan is fully invested in attack and HP. So it doesn't have much defenses to start with. And he's gonna switch over to Slowbro. And I predicted him to switch to Zapdos, so I used Ice Punch and that didn't do shit. So I'm gonna take back Hitmochan and go for Clefable so I can paralyze this thing. And he goes for the Psy Shock, which is gonna do a little bit of damage to me. <laughs> and he's afraid of getting paralyzed, I think, and goes into Gengar, but... I was committed to doing this and Gengar gets paralyzed. That's a good threat down right here. So he messed up his game right now. So obviously I'm gonna take out Clefable here. I'm gonna bring out Vaporeon because he's kind of my special defensive wall but not really. I just like to bring Vaporeon on special special threats because he has a lot of HP. Because he's max HP and max special attack so that's called I'm gonna pack a punch. And she brings out the nine tails with drought, a good strategy. And obviously I'm gonna go for the scald. And obviously it's a critical hit. Otherwise he wouldn't even have done that. But either way, I'm I'll take that. And I'm gonna bring out Arcanine to sponge out the oh sorry, that's my, my mobile. To sponge out the solar beam. And this is this I think if this was this the battle? Yeah no it's not this battle because there was a battle that I got hit with a solar beam and it did a fucking ton of damage. And it's gonna go for the overheat. Oh my god, they did so much damage under the sun. Now how the hell is nine tails faster than me? That's that's a little bit weird, but I don't know the stats so I may be wrong here. And uh that's uh uh, flare Blitz under the sun, so Ninetale will never survive that. And I bring out next, he's gonna bring out the Zapdos. And I'm like, fuck, what am I gonna do over here? Obviously, Arcanine's not gonna stay here, but I would have loved to Flare Blitz that, that bird under the sun. And I'm gonna use my... Predicting the... I should have stayed in because Thunder under the sun has a very very low accuracy. But I brought in, brought in Jolteon just to sponge that. And it's gonna raise his special defense with light screen and the sunlight goes away. And doing that he takes away Zapdos because he can't do anything to my Jolteon. And I'm gonna bring out the Snorlax. Uh, I went for the Thunderbolt to do as much damage as I could to Zapdos and the Snorlax is gonna take my Thunderbolt. And I go for the Volt Switch because I don't like this matchup. The obvious Obvious earthquake is obvious, so I'm out here. And gonna switch to Sand Slash, my defensive wall, aka Jerry. <laughs> and earthquake is gonna hit me, it's gonna do nothing, but it's a crit, and I don't like that. I don't know what's happening, but the critical hit ratio has been very high these days. But anyway, I'm gonna set up the Stealth Rock. In front of Lobro's face, and yeah, I'm, I'm hoping I'm gonna get out of here. <laughs> Cause I don't need Sand Slash to sponge the rest of the earthquakes from this Norlux, and I'm gonna bring in Vaporeon. And he goes for the Scald, and now Water Absorbed, so that's a plus for me. Thank you, Slowbro, you're such a bro. That's why you have bro in your name, Slowbro. And I'm gonna go for the Wish, because I want to 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 refill Hitmochan's health, but not now, so it's just to guarantee myself. And he's gonna paralyze me. I am running Wish Protect, Scald and Ice Beam. I wish I had Shadow Ball for this kind of situations, but yeah, I'm gonna switch to Arcanine because I have I'm running Wild Charge, and that was a pretty stupid move because 
I just, when I did it, I noticed that Arcanine was going down, so... <laughs> yeah, that was kind of stupid for my part. But it gave me a chance to bring out Jolteon clean, so... Slowbro is obviously gonna run away from this matchup. And I'm gonna bring in, he's gonna bring in Snorlax again. Oh god, not this again. <laughs> but this time he's gonna take Stealth Rock damage. Thunderbolt damage. And then a Volt Switch damage. And that's Snorlax out of here because that was a critical hit. Are you guys counting the critical hits? That's just insane, man. What the hell? Critical hits should be like 10% with each hit, 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 or something. Uh, he's gonna bring up Gyarados, gonna get pointed by the stones, he's gonna lower my attack, but I don't care, I'm just gonna protect because that's what I do. That's what my Vaporeon does. He's gonna go for the Dragon Tail. Why would you go for the Dragon Tail? Why would you go for the Taunt? I don't wanna wish, I just wanna... We will out of, get you out of my face, Gyarados, so I'm gonna scald you in the face. And that's gonna do nothing! That's gonna do nothing! This must be a, a, a special wall Gyarados or something. But I got the burn. Uh, and seeing that my... He goes for the Aqua Tail again. Did she forget that my Vaporeon's Water Absorb? Then I get Para Hacks here. He's gonna get Burn Hacks. And we are all good, we are all good, we are all good with the hacks. And I'm gonna go for the Ice Beam because Skull didn't do shit. And that is almost going to KO. And he goes for the Dragon Tail giving me a free switch in because the burn is gonna kill him. And he drags out Hitmochan. And Gyarados is out of here. Obviously now he's gonna go for Slowbro but... I don't give a damn because I still have Jolteon so... He's pretty much screwed anyway. Uh. <coughs> Sorry guys, I'm, I'm not feeling very well. Yeah, I went for... Wait, wait, why did I go for, for Vaporeon again? Oh yeah, because I was afraid of the Psy Shock. And I was right in that. It's here. Oh, I got a message from, from a friend of mine, Seth. He's also participating in the in the Kanto classics <laughs> sorry about that and I'm gonna bring out Jolteon because of because I had patched the wish he's gonna go for the Psy Shock it's gonna hit me fairly hard and I'm gonna get healed by the wish and I'm gonna go for the Thunderbolt and Slowbro is out of here because Slowbro has good defenses but his special defense is like crap 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 he survived the Thunderbolt. Why? Why? Why would you survive my Thunderbolt, dude? Why? Mm -hmm. Why? Well, I don't know why, did, why he switched here. His Zapdos is just gonna take damage from the rocks and Thunderbolt. Uh, I just go for the Shadow Ball. Zapdos takes it very well. Then I go for the Hidden Power of Ice just to show off. <laughs> uh. Yeah, this battle is pretty much over. Oh, there's still Gengar. And I'm gonna go for the Volt Switch because I don't want... I still need Jolteon to take care of, take care of slow, bro. And it's gonna hit fairly hard. I'm seeing a lot of Gengars, man. And most of them are using Hypnosis and Dream Eater. Oh, that's so annoying. I think I... I have one one battle to post where I suffer from that. Did you see that? Did you see how my Hitmochan took that sludge bomb like a champ? Man, I was holding my focus band right here. <laughs> that was so fucking awesome. And in this part, I think I sacked off. Oh no, in this part, he uh, he had Slowbro, his, his last Pokemon. And I still pretty much have most of my team. So he, he had to back up. Thank you guys for watching, I'll try to bring more, bring more battles from the Kanto Classics, bye!